Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host, Dakota. I'm doing a solo show today. I'm going to wrap up our rankings for all of the factions within Mythic Legions because it's about time we do that. You've had plenty of time to enter. And then we'll also be talking about the Mythic Mysteries coming up and kind of my ranking of what my hopes are to get from that. So first, let's get the giveaways out of the way. If I look back, we had... Uh, 240 entries to win Phlogius the Horse. And remember, that was from entering the bad guy faction, so those first five episodes. And then to win Arizak, we had a few less, but there was a lot more, uh, and it was a lot more involved to enter. But we still had uh, 77 entries there. And then there was also the possibility to get an ex extra entry if you watch the full last video. So that made me super excited when people did watch and then add in that extra phrase that I told them to because it just kind of showed that, you know, some people do watch your entire videos when you put all your hard work into it. Made me very happy. Um, so since the first one had over 200 or over 100, you can't use the wheel of decide, which we usually do. So I had to put them into a random name generator and I just did the same way we did before where whatever comes up first is the runner-up, and then whoever is second is the winner. The runner-up and the winner both email me, because if the winner doesn't claim their prize in time, then you get to take that prize. So the runner-up is, I usually have Jordan do all the names, Debascafara? I don't know, I'll put the name up on screen so you can see it. Um, but that is the runner-up to win Flogius the Horse, and remember that is sponsored by Empire Toy Shop. So... Make sure you give them a shout out if you win. Post on the Cabal, tag them, tag me. I'd love to see it. And then the winner is Josh Mack or Josh, Josh MC. Uh, so you are the winner. Send me an email at strongcollectors at gmail.com. I'll put that down in the description as well so you can see it. Uh, send me an email. I'll give you seven days from the posting of this. Um, I'll also try to post on the Cabal too So because your name maybe isn't matched up with what your actual Facebook name is. Uh, but I'll let everybody in the cabal know that this is up when it goes live. And then for our giveaway for Arizak, that's coming out of my collection. I got an extra one, and that is for you all. Um, the winner for that one, we were able to use the Wheel of Decide. So I'll put the uh, screen replay up here. The runner-up for that -da -da -da, was Rick Brar, Brer, Brar, Brer. Uh, and then the winner for that was Josh Chambers. And then I actually have some of... So for that one, you had to post in the Cabal some of your uh, tier lists. Every tier list you posted for the good guys, you got an entry. So here are some of Josh's um, rankings. And then he also shared, because the Gold Knight was really high up on his list, he showed his custom Gold Knight. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. This was super fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. I will probably do giveaways a little bit differently than last time, but I, I really liked the engagement in the Cabal. Loved messaging and chatting with some of you guys, so that was awesome. Now, let's get into the mysteries of Mythos. So for this, um, it's pretty much a mystery box. Like, like I said, Empire Toy Shop was sponsoring our giveaway with Flogius the Horse. I tend to get a lot of my mystery boxes from Empire Toy, Stop, Empire Toy Shop. So this is a pretty fun one because it's directly from Four Horsemen. So this is all of the kind of more rare figures, a little bit higher ticket items. I would say these go anywhere from $75. If you're lucky, you can find something that cheap all the way up to, I don't know who the highest on this one is, but easily over 100. Some of them, I think, even push over 200 so this is a pretty cool opportunity for us as, I mean, I'm not like a OG collector. So as far as this list right here goes, I only have three of this. Three? Yes. I've had four because I've had Lord Viteris before, but I ended up trading him for, I can't remember what, but these are your kind of higher ticket items that you're trying to get and you're guaranteed to get at least one of these so if you order one you're going to get one of these items and then you're going to get one of these items so you're getting something new and something old uh, and these are your 
newer figures, they didn't want to use things from the previous in-stock sale, or at least most of these aren't from that in-stock sale. But this is just kind of, I would assume, the extra stock they have on hand that they need to clear out because they've got more stuff coming in this year with all of the pre-orders that we already know about. And I'm sure there's things that we don't know about coming in. And then this previous picture, these are reissued figures. So these have a little bit higher chance of pulling one of these. Uh, and then they said that some of the other figures, maybe there's only, you know, less than 10 of them that are available. These were reproduced. So you've got a little bit better shot at these, which I'm pretty happy about some of these. So let's get into kind of what my hopes and dreams are with this mystery box. The nice thing about being in the US is you get a flat rate shipping of $10, no matter how many you order. If you order just one mystery box, which is two figures, or you want to order 100 mystery boxes, which is 200 figures, shipping is going to be $10 for you. If you're outside of the US, that doesn't apply. But for those of you in the US, lucky ducks. I think for me, I'm going to be for sure ordering one. I'm on the fence about ordering two. The more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to, because this is just going to be fun for trading. And there's several figures, like I said, from the whole lot of older figures, I only have a very select few of them. So, you know, if I end up with one of those, I'd be a little disappointing, but I'm sure I could probably trade it for at least one of the maybe lesser, less valuable of this list. So let's get in. And then from this list, I have almost all of these. There's just a few that I don't have um, that I would like to get. And then a couple that I don't have that I'm like, eh, don't need them. So let's talk about that. These ones I would probably use as a gift. We're going to start out with the older figures first, although I put Eagleus on here. So messed up on slide one. Whoopsie daisy. Um, but I would use these as a gift, I think, because I already have Eagleus. I got that as a gift. So I feel like I could re-gift that. Got that from, uh, I don't know if you would consider us best friends. You'd have to ask him, but it's from Jeremy Gerard. So um, I feel like I could return that favor. I got an Eagleus as a gift. I could give it as a gift. Uh, maybe we'd use it as a giveaway on the stream or maybe I, but I don't know. These uh, Motu tributes though, probably would be a gift for my uncle. Um, he's a big Masters of the Universe fan. So I think he would have fun with those, especially the Stratos figure. I think he would really like. Next up, these are ones that these can just go ahead and get on out of here. Don't really have a ton of need for them, mostly because I mean, like with Vetus, I actually have one already and I don't need another one because I kind of like him just as is the parts. I don't really see, maybe it's just my lack of creativity, but I don't see him as a great pop and swapper. Same with Scaphoid. He was the very first Mythic Legion I ever got. I could, I guess, paint maybe the skeleton parts, but it's just kind of those colors. I'm not necessarily creative enough to figure out what to do with it and don't really have the time right now for it. So he could go. Same with Zylona. I've got her. Not really one I'm going to be popping and swapping, so don't need her. And then Swig, I've had before. I love the idea of him, but something about him, I just, eh, not, not my favorite for some reason. Um, so I would be trying to trade him. Some that I wouldn't be too upset if I got stuck with. So these ones, I would probably try to trade or, you know, I, I would try to trade. But if nobody wanted to trade, then I'd be all right with it. Um, a couple of them, like... Uh, Bryophytus, I think a lot of people are really worried they're going to get him. I have one of him. I don't have him opened yet. I don't know why he's one that I actually want to keep in box. I don't know if I just think that, you know, the Motu tributes are never going to get made again. He's going to be valuable. That's a little insane of me, but um, I would kind of like to paint one of these maybe white and try to make it like a Yeti. And then now they say that, I'm sure that Four Horsemen would come out the next month with the same type of thing, but way better. Um, Sir Wayne was one that I didn't like at first. If you go back to the rankings of all of the factions, I almost got rid of him, but then I put the cape from Tibius on Sir Wayne, and it was an amazing figure. So I think I could maybe do some other pop and swaps to be really cool with him. Uh, I would probably pop and swap the uh, goat head maybe onto a bigger figure from Krotos and put another head onto him. Um, just kind of change that look up because I already have a Krotos. Everybody on this page right here I have, so they're good, but... They're not my most sought after figures. With these, I have some, I don't have others, uh, but these are ones that I would probably keep. I would still maybe post a trade just to see if I could get the ones that I'm really looking for, but 
I would be pretty selective of like only wanting to trade these for the two that I really, really want. Um, you know, I love my demons, so I could do some pop and swaps to make Azar a little bit different. I don't have Dubon, so I feel like as much as everybody loves him, I should probably have him and give him a chance. You could build out an army of Zylerian guards. I think that's a great figure, and just the head swap is all you need to make it a different guard. I love me the red and black figures for pop and swaps, and I've already got two. So I've got the regular Legion Con version of Uit, and then I've got the standard version. So just another one, I would do some more red pop and swaps. And then I don't have this version of Baron Voliger. He's never one that I've really wanted to pick up, but if I got it with this mystery box, I would kind of consider it as like a freebie almost. So then that would make me want to keep him a little bit more. And then these are the ones that I am really hoping for because I don't have either of them. And I think both of them are fantastic figures. It's just like every time that they're available, there's other things that are also available. Like I'm either pre-ordering new waves or I'm at like the show and then there was other figures and I don't want to spend all of my money on Mythic Legions that day. So that's why I think that these would be good figures. And I think they would also be great for popping and swapping. But I don't even think I'd want to pop and swap them. I think they're just great as is straight out of the box. So if I don't get them, I'll be trying to trade any of the older figures or any of the newer figures for these figures and see if I can get them. Now let's get into the either the reproduced figures or those older figures from the warehouse finds. First off, these are the ones that I really don't have any interest in. I'm sure they're great figures, but you know, new Templars are coming out. So Sir Godfrey is just not super interesting to me. Not a huge fan of the goblins. The smaller figures don't do it for me usually. The elves are kind of another one of those factions that I had mentioned in the rankings videos. They're okay. I don't have any of them. I don't know. It's just not one that I would want, and hopefully I could trade him. So the vampire, I love the purple and blacks, but eh, just don't love the vampires as much either. So these are ones that would be an instant trade if I got them. These are cool, but again... There's just other figures out there that I would really want. And although I think like, especially Snag is super iconic, even the Sultorn, they're like, they're kind of that like mythic legion mascot almost. And I know Dork Lair talks about, uh, I can't remember what his name is on the left now, but they all are great figures. Don't get me wrong. If you need a plain knight, that red shield soldier is probably awesome, but I just want other figures more. And that's, you know, if you want any of these and you get the figures I want, let me know and we can trade. Now, these are ones that I don't necessarily want, but if I get stuck with them, it's not too bad because I could use their parts. Um, like I said, I don't love the vampires, but I do like that purple and black armor, so I would probably try to do some sort of popping and swapping there. I've said I love my red and black, so the Fury Orc would be okay. Hagnon, I might actually try to do a die job on him. Uh, I don't know what color yet, but I know a lot of people have done that before, and I think they look really cool. Um, and even just popping and swapping him because I like him as is, but then I also like doing kind of like a frost armor or like an ice armor on um, other figures. Like I've done it with my demons. So even if I died this ha or the new Hagnon, if I got that, then I would probably even try to do pop and swaps with that. Uh, and then same with Lord Viteris. I like the armor color, but I don't know why. I just don't like the like fleshy colors. Maybe I would try to do like a black from Black Krampus or Torian. Something like that. I don't know if that would look good or not, but I would probably give it a try. Uh, but yeah, these ones, not going to be super upset about if I get them, but we're still not at the top of my list yet. Now, these are ones that, like I said, if I get stuck with, not the end of the world. They're really cool figures, and like I do want these figures, but there is quite a few on this list that I think are just, like, Mythic Legions don't have a bad figure. So I think a lot of people's number one choice is Thalen Frostbow. So if I got her... I wouldn't be upset because that'd probably be a good easy trade for something that I would like that maybe isn't going to be as rare. Um, the Elf Ranger, I like the Ranger looks a little bit more than kind of the Knighted looks. I don't have any of the Shadow Elves yet, and I like them, but I feel like I would probably pop and swap because I just, that head doesn't really do it for me. Uh, I love anthropomorphic figures, so Borier would be okay. Love the Skeletons, so Brother Mandibulus would be great. Like I said, I think we're going to get newer, better Templars later on, so I'm not in a big hurry to go backwards with Templars. And then Faunus, that head sculpt is just awesome, and I like the colors. So if I got stuck with these, I'm still going to be a happy camper. 
Okay, now we're getting into the territory of if I got these, I would struggle to want to trade them for my top figures because these are ones that I would want, but there are the others that I want more. So it would probably just be more of a selective trading where the ones before I could even trade within those categories a little bit, but these are ones that like, I'm really going to be like, I'm only looking for certain figures to trade this one because all of these I'd be happy with. I think it'd be great to get Morgolith to go with the Necronominus wave coming up. Uh, Torgon Redfin is one of my top dwarfs, at least the like less colorful ones. Cause I love the blue armor of Dro Drood, 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 whatever rune shaper, his first name. Uh, and then same with Ragna. I think a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of Ragna, but the colors on her are what get me excited because I love that blue. Um, so these would be difficult for me to trade, but I think people would want them, or at least two out of the three. So we'll see. And now these are ones that I want. We still have a couple left that are like top, top list, but these are just about there. And if I got them, I'm not even sure if I would make the trade post. I might. I probably would. But I might not. Because these are ones that I would love to have in my collection. And I think they're just like, they've got a lot of character within them already. And these are ones that there's not going to be any popping and swapping if I get them. They're just going to be as is, straight out of the box. Um, I started wanting these figures a lot more after doing those faction rankings. And especially with Queen Urza. I think she's just a badass. I think King Noglin is just so fun. Like he's got so much personality within a small figure. So these ones I would want to trade for the next slide, but I don't know if I could. So hopefully I get my top slide and I don't have to worry about it. And if anybody wants to trade the newer figure for one of these, I'm all on board. Uh, and you know, hopefully with the figures coming out, this can help kind of drive the prices down just at least a little bit. Um, so these are maybe a little bit more affordable for me to just, you know, buy in the aftermarket. Now, these are the ones, please, please, please. I hope one of them or, you know, two of them, if I end up getting two mystery boxes is in it. I think my number one is Zarya because, you know, I love my demons and she's the only demon I don't have. Not that there's a whole ton of demons out there in Mythos right now, but she's one that I really want. And since they did the um, re-release or the rerun of her, I hope that means there's more out there because if there's one at Legion's Con, I'll be picking another one up to paint. Um, and then I think second place for me is hard. I think I would say, actually, I have no idea. I wanted to say the Shadow Elf Ranger, but really any of the other three would be amazing. I love my Jaguelians, and then even to have the knighted helmet on him would also be awesome. So these are the ones that I've got my highest hopes for. Uh, the more I'm doing this episode, I'm thinking I'm going to order two. Fingers are crossed. I think Zarya has a decent... Let's go back and look at the um, what's been re-released. So I know Zarya is on that list. And the Shadow Elf Ranger is on that list. So right there, I've got a pretty good shot at getting two of the figures that I really want. And then the others... Oh, did I not put Grisha on here? I thought I did. Because Grisha is another one that I think would be on this slide that I want. But I don't know. It's it's cool. But I just I don't think there's any topping these four. If I could get two of these, I'd be happy. But like I said, I don't even know if I could trade these if I did get them. So I'm going to go with two mystery boxes. I'm locking it in right now. Maybe that'll change by Monday. But... I'm locking it in. I'm going to get two, roll the dice. Hopefully I get them. And regardless, I'm going to come out pretty happy because, you know, I'm spending $75 per plus the $10 shipping. Easily any of the figures from the chase side are going to be at that $75 mark. Maybe not with the re-releases now, but I still think, I mean, these are, I mean, Hagnon would probably be the cheapest one out of this list. Um, but you're getting, you know, two figures are going to be about 50 bucks retail. So that's a hundred dollars value and you're only paying 75. So I feel like I'm still coming out on top no matter what I get. And it's just going to be fun to trade. Even if I don't get the ones that I'm looking for, other people are going to want other figures. And I think the cabal is just going to be a super fun time in that initial, once people are opening, seeing what other people have and getting what they want. So 
let me know down in the comments. Are you going to be doing one of these? Are you going to order one, multiple? Who do you want? Who are you hoping you don't want? Because then maybe we can trade. I don't know. Maybe you got one of those ones that I want. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay strong.